Warning. Channel Robozoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. If that isn't the look of dumbfoundedness, I don't know what the hell is. What's up, everybody? It is I, the Robozoid. Your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves. Well... Looks like we gotta do this again. We gotta talk about Nimrod Nikki Haley. I call her Nimrod Haley because, let's face it, that absolutely fits her. I mean, here she is, I think it's some Q&A, uh, where she's asked about the Civil War and what started the Civil War, how did it end, and let's face it, she was stumped totally. I mean, just absolutely stumped on the question. Uh, and this is quite fascinating stuff, and I don't know how many people know this, and to quote Bill O'Reilly, here's something that you might not know, and that is that, well, her state, South Carolina, was actually one of the first states, if not the first state, I think, during the time of the Civil War to uh, file secession from the Union. Well, in any case, Let's have a little fun at the expense of Nimrod Haley and her inability to answer a simple question. Just a very simple, tiny, little, minuscule, unimportant, just damned if we know it, uh, question about the Civil War. Uh, check this out and take a look. No, sometimes it's a good idea to keep your bullshit detector handy and in perfect working order because, yeah, what Nikki Haley just said there, or Nimrod Haley said, is absolute bullshit. <laughs> so the wars are not fought out of tradition or out of belief. Wars are fought purely based on hatred. Excuse me, let me do that again. Wars are fought purely on hatred. Don't you know that, Nimrod Haley? I mean, really, seriously, you call yourself presidential material? I call you a joke. You're a nut job. You have no clue what you're talking about. You're crazy. You're not well. Check into a lunatic asylum right now, or at the very least, uh, the nearest hospital in South Carolina, because I don't think you've got your marbles together. I mean, you're just as bad as Fatso. And it's amazing that he hasn't dropped out of the election yet, in spite of what Happy Hoodie told you. Yeah, but that's the subject for a short vid, I suppose. But quite frankly, let's face it here. Nutty Haley has absolutely no clue what she's talking about. This Nimrod, this warmonger, who should not be running for president at all, shouldn't even be Trump's running mate. I don't care what people say. She shouldn't even be Trump's running mate. She's got it all wrong. And you got people who are just absolutely doing a double face palm on this. Isn't that right, Jean Luc? United States Civil War. Do, 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 do. Well, don't come with an easy question or anything. I mean, I think the cause of the Civil War was basically how government was going to run, the freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. What do you think the cause of the Civil War was? Well? I'm sorry? I thought President, I wanted to see your opinion on the cause of the See, now that was a good answer from that guy. 
I mean, I think it always comes down to the role of government. We need to have capitalism. We need to have economic freedom. We need to make sure that we do all things so that individuals have the liberties so that they can have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to do or be anything they want to be without government getting in the way. What do you want me to say about slavery? Next question. All right. <laughs> now, to be as fair as I possibly can to Nimrod Haley here, that was a pretty stupid question that she was that she was asked. But of course, she had a stupid answer. And well, there's an old saying: stupid questions warrant stupid answers. The only people that I think that MSNBC, more stupid nonsense by communists, and Peacock should apologize to are, well, us, the American people, for saying that such a stupid question was a legitimate question, and a stupid answer was, well, just a stupid answer. There you have it. <laughs> Quite frankly, Nimrod Haley has absolutely no clue what she's talking about, and then again, neither does MSNBC, when they tell us that, that that one guy, who probably may have been a plant for all we know, uh, asked a really stupid question that deserved a really stupid answer from Nimrod Haley. But the truth is, she didn't know why the Civil War was fought. And let me tell you this right now, it was not fought to free slavery, to free the slaves. It was not fought to end slavery like those cute little textbooks would have you believe in, the, in your cute little schools. It was fought over taxes and tariffs on the South because, well, the Union North had a little bit more money and power and the South were, <laughs> I guess for lack of a better word, maybe a little jealous and wanted to secede from the Union. And I hope that Nimrod Haley understands this because she should, being that she's supposed to be from South Carolina, that her own state was the first to file secession from the Union. And let's face it here, I have a feeling she doesn't know that. But <clears throat> if I might go back just a little bit to the last uh, Republican primary debate they had, I'm not going to play the clip. That's too much time. But I am going to mention this. When Vivek Ramaswamy set her up on the question of what the of what parts of uh, what particular parts of the Ukrainian Russian war does she support? and the uh, basic three unions or places. She couldn't name one of them. So there you go. She really has no clue what she's talking about. Nimrod Haley is unqualified for the job and really should just drop out of the election right now for her own sake and for our sakes as well. Really, this has been the Robozoid saying, <clears throat> I'm starting to get <clears throat> a little bit of a frog in my throat, so I'm going to end the video right here. But remember this, and remember this very well, that wokeness is weakness, because I don't think Nimrod Haley or, or more stupid nonsense by communists understand that. Also, of course, remember to smash that like button. Make sure that you are still subscribed if you, if you <laughs> because you know how YouTube has the kind of annoying habit of unsubscribing people uh, without really any prior knowledge or notification. Also, remember, we got to have that power to the people back. Take the power away from the politicians who want to control every single aspect of your life. That's important. And, of course, the power to the music in the streets. And that is the music of our voices and uprise and revolt against this greedy, ridiculous, and insipid, corrupt system that we are living in now. Peace.